Hi guys, it's Rianne, the Frugal Chef. I hope you're well. Let's make these uh, keto brownies today. They're sugar-free, they're gluten-free, but they are very, very tasty. Before you do anything, if you would sub, I'd really appreciate it. Please turn on the notification button. Let's go make these. Uh, my brownie pan has a little insert that comes out, so I don't have to line it with anything and just pull out the brownies. I would like you, if you don't have one like this, to put some parchment paper over, uh, you know, just, oh, what am I trying to tell you? Just put some parchment paper and let it uh, hang from the sides, on both sides, so that when we're, your brownies are ready, you can just pull them out, okay? And once you've lined it, I want you to, to uh, oil it a little bit, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put some spray oil on this. So I have 10 tablespoons of butter unsalted in here, and I have two ounces of Baker's chocolate that has no sugar in it, uh, unsweetened. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute, a minute and a half, and melt it, and then I'll come back. What I'm gonna do is, every 30 seconds, I'm gonna stir it, okay? As always, I will have grams for all of this in the description box. Um, for you with the recipe, okay? As well as a link for you to go and print it. So 30 seconds and I'm gonna stir it and I'm gonna put it back in for another 30 seconds. If you wanna do this in a double boiler, go ahead, no problem. So again, we'll stir this. I think if I just keep on stirring this in the hot butter, it'll melt. So I don't, I'm not gonna put it back in. That was one minute. So we're gonna wait this to cool for a tiny bit before we add our eggs because we don't want the eggs to cook in there. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla in here. So now I'm gonna add the three eggs. Those eggs were at th uh, room temperature, by the way. So in this bowl, I have half a cup of almond flour. I have one fourth cup of dark chocolate cocoa powder, unsweetened. Three quarters cups of sweetener, and I'm using monk fruit. This one, okay. Uh, as always, I put a link at the bottom for you if you wanna purchase this through me on Amazon. That helps me, they give me a tiny commission, <laughs> but every cent helps. I have a tablespoon of espresso powder. I got this at the grocery store. This is what I'm using. Any, any espresso powder is fine. And then I have half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt to this. And I'm gonna mix this with. Make sure that you tackle all those little, uh, dry little balls from the cocoa powder, okay? I'm going to pour this in here. And all we want to do is mix it so it's all incorporated. We don't want to overbeat this. We're gonna put it in the pan. Guys, this is gonna go in an oven that has been preheating at 350 Fahrenheit, that's 176 centigrade, for about 18 to 20 minutes. And at 18 minutes, we're gonna take it out and see if, it, if it's ready. If it's not, we'll let it cook another couple minutes, okay? Eighteen minutes, guys, and it's perfect. Now for the hard part. We have to let these cool down absolutely completely, and then we can cut them up and eat them. That'll make sure they, they're very fudgy, guys, so be patient. I'm gonna put this whole pan on top of a cooling rack, and we won't, we'll forget about them. <laughs> okay? All right, guys, these are nice and cold. 
I'm gonna cut them into 16 pieces. So I'm gonna try and cut them at the e equal size. Those look good. Close enough. Check it out. It is nice. So let's taste this. Oh, this is, mmm. 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 Wow. Mm -mm -mm. It's not as chewy as I'd like it to be, as ooey gooey. It is delicious though. It's a perfect brownie. Um, very fudgy, but uh, I think it's because of the sweetener. When you make this with brown sugar or regular sugar, you know, you get that benefit of the ooey gooey but very recommended, great, great treat. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you make these and I'll see you soon.